My name is Heidi Saratan, and this is my daughter Marion, and we are frequent users of Muni. If I know that there's going to be an elevator out of service, well, we need to make alternate plans. If I'm going somewhere with my daughter, I want to make sure that I know there's going to be an elevator to help me get up when I get there. Most time it's broken, and then if we wait until they uh, repair, usually it's a month. It's hard for us. Escalators are not always an option, so then the elevator is an option. If you have a physical disability that doesn't allow you to climb upstairs very easily, it can be really tough. I use the escalators and the elevators every day. We need the elevators. We need the way to be able to transport ourselves throughout the city. Hi, I'm Scott Broder with the SFMTA. Over the next four years, we'll be replacing all the original elevators and escalators that were installed 40 years ago when the subway was built. We are updating to modern technology, which enhances the safety and reliability of the equipment, especially for disabled community and seniors. Phase one was just completed recently. We replaced five escalators. We are currently in phase two, where we're replacing 17 more escalators and six stations. We are now adding additional elevators at stations to give people options when one elevator is out of service. During construction, the escalator work zones will be safely barricaded from the public. The elevator project is currently in the design phase and will be going into construction later this year. Improvements for the elevators and escalators are really important to myself as a mom because we need consistency and reliability. It can do nothing but help the disabled community, so therefore I do not believe the disabled community will mind interruptions. There's a little inconvenience now with the promise that it's going to be much better in the future than I say yes.